Ginger from my sister Scrapper. Today I want to share another one of the projects that I created in one of the classes that I took from Frank Garcia of Prima. This uses the Rossi Bell paper collection as well as one of his uh, 6x6 chipboard memory hardware al albums. And this amazing uh, dome. Oh my gosh. It was so much fun taking that class. Seriously, we got to play with glitter and sequins and jewels and flowers and just all kinds of yumminess. It was so much fun. So on the front cover, and this is kind of over the top for me, so um, I really stretched myself. So it was really, really fun. Some gorgeous uh, flowers here and here. And then we took this uh, rhinestone trim of his and we went around the outside edges and again I added the liquid pearls we got some prima lace trim right here and then he had us uh, on the using the dome oh my god there's so many things my head's already spinning of the things you can do with this I kind of went a little overboard with my glitter and sequins because hey you know you can never have too much <laughs> And filled it all up here, and then we have in the middle is a spoon that we um, put, and we glittered it up. Oh my gosh, just stunning! And then um, some beautiful rosette trim that we uh, used some of his uh, powders and put them in a bottle, and then sprayed it to dye it a different color. And I just, oh my gosh, how pretty is that? It was so much fun to get to play with all this fabulous product that he has out now. And then on the side. Um, he showed me, because I bought some of these fabulous strings of these rhinestones, and I didn't know how to attach them, so he was so sweet and showed me how to do it. So I had to add those to mine just because I couldn't help myself, because just, oh my God, they're just amazing. So anyway, this was this dangle that we did for the side, and there's a bunch of charms that were in our kit. And then again, I added, um, I added these because I wanted to. <laughs> this chain is amazing, though. So that's the front cover, and then here is the back. Love this paper. This paper collection is the Rossi Bell collection, even though it's kind of hard to tell because there's so much going on, but it really is the Rossi Bell collection. And look at that. Oh my gosh, do you not love it? Love, love, love. And you get three of these domes in a pack when you buy them, so of course I had to buy some more. So you open it up, and again, this is one of his memory hardware albums. It's a 6x6 six six chipboard album. Um, so we have a pocket here, and then again, some of the cut aparts are tucked inside here. Some more lace and flowers. Again, some more elements right here. We used some ivory cardstock to make some photo mats. Some more flowers. We painted all the um, edges of the paper, or um, edges of the book, because it is a craft colored book. Again, we got a side loading pocket here. Some more fabulous cards, journaling cards from the paper collection. I love the copper foil on this paper. It's just stunning. And then on this page, we have a little waterfall. And what's really cool because he does his waterfall a little bit different than I do mine. So that was kind of fun. I learned a, a new technique. So yay, Frank. Um, so these just slip up like this. How fun. Oh my gosh. Love, love, love this collection. Again, some more pretty lace right here. Some more chipboard elements from the collection. Another pocket here. Some more journal cards. Ugh, love this. Yes. Love you. Yes, Frank. You're amazing. And some more pretty lace here. Some more chipboard and some beautiful flowers from the collection. Over here as well, again, another pocket. Some more journal cards. I mean, this paper is stunning, and this book is amazing. I had so much fun taking that class. If you ever, ever, ever get a, a chance to take a class from him, do it. You will not be disappointed. Some more flowers here, cute stickers, some more chipboard, another photo mat right here. Again, some more of that beautiful paper with the copper. Again, another sticker here, some chipboard elements, some more flowers right here. I mean, just love it. Again, over here we did the waterfall, but this time it's kind of done um, vertically. And I did, on this page, I kind of did mine a little di different than he had it in the original design. Um, it's all, it's a vertical, but this, I had them facing each other, so it was more like a two-page spread. So you'll have, they'll both go out like this and this, just because it was something different. And I was just so inspired by the class <laughs> so it was so much fun again some cute little waterfall pieces here and here and these are all just the four by six and the three by four journal cards which i thought was a fabulous idea to use those for that particular thing super cute adorable love this paper it's stunning so that's those two pages and then you flip it over here again some more of the chipboard stickers some more flowers from the paper collection same right here, another um, sticker here and here, flowers and a chipboard piece. And on the last page, again, a more cluster of flowers right here, and just a bunch of layering of the papers and some uh, a photo mat right here, chipboard element. 
And on the back inside cover, some more chipboard elements, spelled out the word love and sweet, some more flowers from the paper collection, and then again, um, a bunch of journal cards that I just stuck in here. Super, super amazing. Oh my gosh, and look at this paper. It's just stunning. And again, I have this paper in my in my hoard vault, <clears throat> and I haven't used it yet, but it was great because I got to use it with Frank, so it was fabulous, and that's the back. So this is one of his fabulous um, memory hardware chipboard albums, and it was really, really fun, and I'm loving this whole dome thing. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. And love all this. Can you say sparkle? So anyway, there you go. That's the little Rossi Bell mini album project that I created in a class that I that was given by Frank Garcia at my local scrapbook store. So there you have it, everybody. Thanks, Frank, for a fabulous class. It was amazing. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.